Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in the last session, so we discussed about a character data type. Now, in this session, we will see some of the examples on a character data type. So, first we will see right, we are writing unsigned character and signed character in the form of circles, right. So, here it is. Suppose if it is a signed character, the limits are minus 128 to plus 127. All these limits we are writing in a form of circle because based on these circles only now we will see how programs will execute. Here it is. So, we are writing. So, this is circle either positive value or negative value counting starts with 0. This is a starting point. Positive values counting in a clockwise direction. Positive values counting. And here it is the maximum value is a 127 is 127 negative values counting starts with a minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on up to minus 128. This is a signed character. This is signed character. First we will see the examples on a signed character. So, same story in the declaration of variable, if you are not specifying whether the variable is a signed variable or unsigned variable, by default it is a signed variable. And next one, that is unsigned circle also we are writing just 0 to 255 and this is a circle and starts with a 0, 1, 2 and so on and so on up to 255, 255. So, this is unsigned character circle unsigned character circle so based on these two based on so these two circles so now so we are discussing all the programs these two so one is a signed circle and second one is a unsigned circle a simple program i'll write a simple program for example here it is here it is we are including the header file hash include stdio.h. If you want to clear the screen, we can include so that conio.h also, but of course, not required anyway we discussed and here it is directly I am writing main function. I am declaring one character char variable name, any name you can give. For example, here it is a character name ch I am giving character name ch and what is the value? any value you can give suppose I am giving capital A, but remember one thing in any programming language we are representing characters by using single quotes by using single quotes right here it is we are printing the value printf printf sir how to print this character right here it is percentage C is a format specifier and we are printing the value ch, we are printing the value ch, here it is ch value will print in the location of percentage c. Sir, suppose whenever we are printing that ch value printf, I am not giving percentage c, I am giving percentage d, but the variable is a ch only, but the variable is ch only here it will print it has to print integer sir what integer it will print ch contains a variable so what is a variable capital a right it prints what capital a so that capital a corresponding ascii value it will print so capital a value corresponding ascii value is a 65 so it will print the value 65 Okay. So, this is a simple program. So, on a character data type, first we are declaring one character, we are printing the character by giving percentage c and we are printing the ASCII value by giving percentage d. So, percentage d means what? It is an integer format specifier. So, it has to print integer. Sir, what integer it will print? Already we discussed in a character system, every character is represented by a constant integer value. So, this is the constant integer value 65. So, it will print the value 65. Okay. So, we will see the next program. So, some tricky questions. Here it is, they will ask like this. For example, character 
CH, character CH. So, they are storing for example, 258, 258 they will store. Sir, can we store? Yes, of course, we can. Into character data type, we can store integers also. Sir, then what character will go and store? Right? Here it is a signed character or unsigned character means by default it is a signed character. By default is a signed character. So, it will count the value 258. First, CH gets memory allocation. CH gets memory allocation and it has to store the value 258. It will count 258 in a signed circle. See, this is signed circle. This is signed circle and here the range is minus 128 to 127. So, counting 258 starts here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on like that it will keep on counting. This value is equals to 255. In the short data type we discussed very clearly just compare these two circles. So, that is why I have written here right a 0 above value is a 255. So, 255, 256, 257, 258. So, 258 corresponding value is a 2. So, in the memory the value 2 will go and store. In the memory the value 2 will go and store. So, here it is whenever we are printing printf printf and here it is a percentage d we are printing ch value and here it is a printf printf percentage c we are printing the ch value sir whenever we are giving percentage d it is happy we can, we can say that easily it will print the value 2 it will print the value 2 sir whenever we are printing that percentage c what character it will print sir that we do not know right. So, here it is no need to by heart that entire ASCII code right what value it will print means some unexpected value some garbage character it will print unknown character it will print that is what two corresponding unknown character it will print two corresponding ASCII character what it is that will print from the ASCII character system ok. So, this is a bit tricky question right they will ask in the interview on a character data type ok and now so we will see how to write a program that if you input one character it has to print that corresponding ASCII value in this program first time we are working with a scanf function first time we are we are reading information from the end user in C programming language ok C here the program is write a program to display ASCII value to display ASCII value of character to display ASCII value of character. So, this is a heading of the program. So, first time we are reading right information from the end user we are taking input from the end user right how we are taking input C here it is hash include hash include stdio.h header file we included and next one we are writing main method directly and here it is I am declaring one variable variable character variable name any name you can take just like the previous program I am taking ch only. Now ch gets memory allocation please do not assign any value directly please do not assign any value directly because here it is my requirement is I just want to read information from the end user. I want to read the input from the end user while application is executing that is my concept. Here it is ch gets memory allocation at some location. Now, address is very very important this is address memory location address. So, where right ch gets memory allocation. So, now here it is this is the console on console first I want to print a message sir what is that console where you can see the output and where we can give the input. So, that is called a console black screen right here it is. So, we are asking clearly enter one character enter one character that message I want to print messages very very important 
right if you don't print this message and whenever you show that console output to the end user what end user want to do that they cannot understand okay so that is a reason we need to provide some information best example atm application whenever you enter into atm center a clear information it will show please choose one language insert your atm card insert your pin number insert how much amount you want to withdraw please collect the cash please collect the card information is very very important how good you are writing the logic is not at all matters right how clearly you are providing interface to the end, end user is very very important as a developer remember so here so first we are asking the message very clearly enter one character printf the same message we are writing here enter one character enter one character so whatever the message you have written in the printf function so that will be written on the console or not yes so that will write on the console on the console it will print that message enter one character so that we have to read right so first time so whenever they will enter one character for example i entered that character hash i entered that character hash any character you can pass right so then automatically system will print that as key value see that hash we should collect into this location into this location so here we need to provide the memory address we need to provide memory address how to provide memory address who will provide memory address so first time we are using scan a function in a c programming how many characters you want to read sir i want to read only one character so write one time percentage c format specifier sir i want to read a 10 characters 10 times you have to write a percentage c but here it is only one character so that we are collecting the character address you have to provide ampersand is the address operator what it will return the address of or the memory location of this character it will return the memory address of this character it will return okay so here it is 2046 it will return so hash whatever the character you have given in the console that will be stored into this location so hash will go and store and of course not exactly hash hash corresponding ascii value will be converted into binary and then the binary value will go and store and now i want to print printf ascii value is ascii value is i am writing in the next line ascii value is percentage d and here it is what we are printing ch we are printing this is clear we are reading using scanf function sir where scanf function is available in stdio.h header file only in the standard input output.h header file only that scanf function is available and we are reading into a location ch now in the ch hash is there hash is there i want to print the ascii value very simple how to print the ascii value instead of writing percentage c you please write a percentage d is enough so here it is percentage d we are writing ch corresponding value it will write sir what is it ascii value 35 35 it will write right whenever you start executing your program right on the console it will ask the message very clearly please enter one character any character you can enter plus minus dollar hash any character you can enter when you press enter so then automatically it will show right so what is the ascii value of that character okay all these programs practically once again i'll explain right here it is using the blue screen ide okay so this is how to print the ascii value of the given ascii character right sir can i print all the ascii character symbols at a time impossible because print a function you have to write 256 times so because how many number of ascii values are there 256 ascii values are there can you write a print a function 256 times in a single program impossible case so that's why so please wait up to control statements concept some loops will discuss in a coming concepts so there i'll show you very clearly how to print ascii character set in a c language okay right so thank you for watching so thank you all 
फर् मोर वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्रैब नरेश थैंक यू